Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome to my Medieval 2 Total War Definitive Edition Stainless Steel 6.4 Modded Kingdom of Poland campaign. Okay guys, welcome, welcome to the campaign map. Let's get stuck into today's video. So, the objective of this Poland series is to make Poland strong again. Poland strong. Uh, that's what we want to do in today's video. And the challenge that I've set for myself is eliminating and destroying the Holy Roman Empire. I want to sit a Polish king, the Polish duke on the seat of the Holy Roman Emperors, which is going to be easier said than done, as they're a huge confederation at the moment. So, that's the challenge that we're doing today. So, Hungary wants an alliance. I did, well, they, well, I want to get trade and an alliance with them, rather said, so... Hopefully we can get this deal done. No, it's rejected, so we have to make things a little bit... Um, easier. So, I don't want to be able to, like, ha have to focus on Hungary to our south. Because there's a lot of rebel territory uh, to make us stronger. We need to take. Okay, Sophia, suitable prince, will bring you in. That's fine, and we'll marry her off. Okay, so in pushing to Thorin and... Oh, I can't even remember how you say this, because I'm not Polish. And it's like Ros Ros or something. Like... Um, I learned how to say that name, but I've forgotten it now, because it's not Crow Row Claw. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to be able to take the city. Um, there's only woodsmen inside with the Duke. But, uh, we'll, we'll fight this one with Walad Lisor. I think that's how you say his name. Alright. Three units of spears, some cavalry. Want to try and get some Polish noble, Polish noble cavalry. The P.S. Nobles. Oh yes, I remember this from the 1212 campaign. I did. There was that whole thing with Leszek, wasn't it? And the first amongst amongst the Piasts. I guess that's a similar thing. Yeah. Why isn't Leszek the king? King Leszek. I forgot about him. Anyway, this is a pretty cool fort that they've got here. Um, also, like, Krakow isn't a part of our territory. We're, like, super far eastward. So what we want to try and do in Poland is try and gobble as much territory as we can in and around the Baltic. The battering ram has nearly made its way up, but... I thought the major challenge of today's video would be defeating the Holy Roman Empire. They're definitely, if not the strongest and largest kingdom they have like nine, eight to ten territories under their control. So, really, t with us, I didn't want to push too far eastward into Lithuania and Hungary. I think if we focus on the HRE, that's going to be a real challenge. That's going to take, that's going to take us like upwards of like five playable battles and probably um, eight order resolve. So, it's going to be a massive war here today against the Holy Roman Empire, and we'll try and seat the Poles there, because they're very much united. Like, they've even got, like, Bologna, Vienna, Bavaria, Bohemia, um, Saxony. They're quite huge at the moment, but we should be able to take our capital. So it's an average victory, lost 300, and we'll take our first settlement for the Polish campaign. We'll sack and occupy it. Sweet as... Uh, the Kuman Carnate. If we get an alliance and trade with them, that'd be good. But I'm actually surprised well. that we border with them. Okay, so we've taken Thorin now. But yeah, the Kuman Carnate has two territories there in like, Romania, but then the rest of their armies further eastward. That's a really weird faction you could play as. So the Duke's pushing to Prague, the king. And he should be able to take it. So Prague is actually under just rebel territory. So I don't like to play too many battles against rebel territory. Some when they have unique unity in like in Ireland and, and Wales with the Welsh Longbowmen and stuff. But we'll try and auto-resolve most of them. Alright, we found Kiev. Let's negotiate with the Grand Duchy of Kiev. I would like an alliance and trade where I can. So I'm not really pushing southward or eastward. I'm pushing west for Poland. And it's also probably easier to hold as well, because it's more Catholic lands. 
Because what does Kiev here? Uh, orthodoxy, yeah, that makes sense. We won't have religious tensions, but we have to deal with the papal see. Uh, we got excommunicated like three, four times in the English campaign. There is always a chance for a crusade to get cold, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, so we're ready to strike against the Holy Roman Empire. They're not going to expect it. So let's push against the HRE and take the Austrian city of Vienna. Leopold Babenberg is inside and he's about to have the fury of the Poles descend upon him in 1108 AD. But I want to do more on staying the steel, so let me know what other factions you would like me to do a video on. And also, you're most welcome to recommend, so basically for the style of these videos, I want a challenge and an objective. Um, so you could let me know that for any Total War. Uh, the Republic of Novgorod won't trade. I would always like, if that comes through, um, to get map information, but uh, it's very demanding. They want to sort of be secret in the north. Uh, settlement bribed? What? Prague, really? Oh, they must have paid a lot for that. We'll retake it, because I don't fear excommunication. They've definitely upped the, the tick rate of excommunications in stainless steel, but... So be it. We'll deal with that. Now that we're excommunicadoed, let's say. But we'll play the Battle of Vienna now, and deal with Leopold Bebenberg. Alright. Yes, yeah, so there's only four inside, so we'll fight this one, two to one. Uh, let's get stuck in. All right, slowly but surely pushing up for our first battle against the HRE. Polish naval cavalry at the back, ready to surge in if need be. The thing is, with the Poles, we actually got a lot of rebel territory with the need to capture around us. We were a little bit fortunate getting Prague. But we're going to try and rush the Holy Roman Empire as quickly as possible before they unite up, taking Vienna as a sort of a pretty decent foothold to launch operations into the German territory will help us a lot. Here are the Holy Roman Empire Noble Heavy Cavalry. They are very much gonna contend with us but if you haven't gone and seen my England campaign I do recommend it after this video and I've been doing more Hoy and on the channel as well so let me know what other campaigns you would like me to do on the channel so yeah I think that's a good suggestion let me know the campaign you'd like me to do let me know the objective and the challenge that I can do in one video so we're slowly but surely pushing up here most of my army is actually made up of mercenaries. We've got two two-handed swordsmen. They're going to do really well carving their way through, like carving a cake through the Vene uh, Venetian, <laughs> the Viennan walls. Also just got some Merc spears as well. One unit of cavalry and archers. We are going to massively rely on Eastern mercenaries where we can, because they're just so much better. Like, mercenaries are so, so good in Medieval 2. I can't really recommend them enough. Cost effective. They're also a, usually a lot better than your unit pool. Clear victory. 200 men against Leopold's 500 and we'll sack and take Vienna. We failed the mission though which is understandable. We're gonna push for Stettin in the Baltic. We get some more mercenaries there as well. But there's the family tree. And we've taken Stet in now. Uh, Denmark won't trade. I'm actually more interested in marrying into your line. They're demanding. We've got a lot of money. We've got 23k. So let's do that. You, I forget how much money you get in a stainless steel for bribery. So if we can bring in no Ragenhild Sve Svendensen. Um, marry her to our heir, so we won't have to focus on the Danes. We can have a claim to Denmark as well. Okay, so we've married it to our faction heir, Duke Boslaw. Lithuania as well, trade rights and alliance. They are pagan as well. 
Yeah, so we don't want to focus eastward. We would have had massive public order and religious stuff going on there. We're better off pushing westward, most definitely, in today's Poland campaign. Venice want trade. I want map information, ideally. Got suitable prince. They've been married off. Fantastic. Maslow. The King of Poland's pushing to Salzburg, and Bruno von Hofsten is pushing up there. And he's not quick enough. He must have heard a rider was sent for the siege of Salzburg. And now the King of Poland is going to take it. We've been putting the pressure on them, but they're actually starting to move up some armies now. Uh, the Crusade states want trade. Really, there'd be a lot of Eastern resources I'd really like. But I think in this time period, the Holy Roman Empire has like a blood tie with England. They usually have alliances with France and that, so and somewhat. So they're probably focusing more on the Italian states and the Danes and stuff. Pushing to Magdeburg now uh, against Captain Marcus. We should be able to take that. Be excommunicated again, which is fair enough. And we'll replenish and repair where we can, but we're doing well quite early in this, <laughs> I guess, ironic Blitzkrieg war. Okay, so we've actually been attacked down here in Salzburg, and I might actually play this one. We've brought up some reinforcements. Bruno um, uh, von Hofsten. No. Hon Staffen. Hon Staffen, okay. Anyway, he's attacked. We need to relieve the siege here and throw them back. So, it's great that they're being quite aggressive now that they've lost territory in the east. Alright, welcome to the sea, the the, uh, the fields of Salzburg. So, we control four units in this fight. I guess I should have manually clicked to play re reinforcements, which is annoying, but... I must have misclicked, that's how it is, so... We'll have to allow the AI to hopefully take the initiative and go aggressive. It can be a little bit annoying when that happens, but so be it. Right, let's move that there. But our reinforcements are coming in. We are fighting and aggressively pushing out. You think because they're with they're attacking us, we're not. We shouldn't have to fight them on, on an open field battle. We should be able to fight them. You know what I mean? Like outside the city of Salzburg. At least we would have arrow tower, uh, arrow tower help. But this is our first major field battle against the HRE. They're making us engage them in the forest, which can be a little bit tricky. So my four units that I'm directly commanding are moving up. And once we lock the enemy down with Bruno, um, our reinforcements should be able to help. So we've got a slightly upgraded variant charging in. But it's great to see that the AI react quite quickly. <laughs> Vienna, Stettin, Magdeburg, three units of territory were taken and they're slowly but surely moving armies and reinforcements from the west to the east now because the war is very much underway so these are technically eastern spearmen slightly more armored and helmed they should be able to do better against just the stock standard basic trash tier tier one HRE spearmen and then we've got our Polish conscripts pushing there as well. Our reinforcements are getting some shots off because they're now in range. But we should be able to have victory here today. And we'll push them back to the mountains from whence they came. We've got some crossbow militia hitting us, which we want to try and stop as quickly as possible. General's bodyguard, but our reinforcements are here. And the General's Bodyguard is now pushing in as well on the right flank. That's always the thing as well. I remember in Westeros Total War, 
the generals would usually throw themselves in with the AI, so we've got to be careful on this department. Man, I forgot about Westeros Total War. <laughs> I haven't played that in so long. Maybe I should. But I'm still kind of jaded about Game of Thrones. I don't know. But anyway, so far, about a 50-50. We should be able to clearly win this. Oh my god, who died? Oh, just the captain. Probably the one of my army. I was going to say, if we lost a family member, crikey, that'd be bad. Clear victory. We managed to lift the siege of Salzburg. And we've thrown back the HRE army. Good. Okay. So Otto and Bruno has actually fled back to Innsbruck. So we'll deal with that. That army that hit Salzburg. The remnants actually pushed there. So the King of the Poles can take that. We'll replenish and repair where we can. We've still got Nuremberg and Magdeburg. So Maximilian von Nuremberg is there now when we're building siege equipment. Magdeburg bribed? Really? I'm actually so lucky I've got... Just like the thing is with... Um, Nuremberg, we should be able to take now with two full stacks. Maximilian the Chivalrous of Nuremberg has fled back. We've taken that and destroyed a full stack inside. But yeah, we're still slowly but surely trickling units over. I've sent an army down to Bologna to take it as well. We'll accept the Great Council. The siege equipment's now being built. Prince Henrik is inside. Really? I was like, oh, I need to send an army down to Bologna because I'm going to forget about it. <laughs> and we're not going to be able to completely destroy them. But the that's typical. The German prince is hiding in Bologna. Okay, so we've actually been attacked here. Outside Frankfurt, which is annoying. Quite a large army with the king. So we're going to have to fight this one on the battlefield. But this should decide it. We were sieging Frankfurt. And now their armies of the HRE have come up. So this is make or break for the series, I reckon. We have the battle for Frankfurt here today. My Polish army consists of four skirmisher units, two crossbow variants, two archers. Mostly made up of just standard Polish spear conscripts and whatever available mercenaries we can. We do have some of our own crossbow archers, so they're pushing up. And we've also got um, catapult firepower with us. It's a shame that... I just got them because they're in our unit pool and the more soldiers we can get the better. But they can't actually count as... Uh, siege equipment, so they can't actually take a city in one turn. You actually still need to build siege towers and battering rams and stuff. In vanilla, it can count as an order resolve. Um, like you can actually tack a walled city in one turn with ballista. In stainless steel 6.4, apparently you can't. But whatever. All right. We've done really well against the HRE here today. We've won every single battle, but. They haven't intercepted us over too much. They've just been sort of trying to lift sieges and we've been just throwing them back. They've been just quite unlucky because we've just been winning absolutely everything. But we should be able to continue with our siege against Frankfurt here once we get rid of this army that's come up to lift it. Heroic victory. Okay, so we've won the battle for Frankfurt and we'll sack it. It is Christendom itself. Oh no! Then Crusade it called for Frankfurt. Oh, that's unbelievable! The Pope, the Pope has called all of Christendom to come up against us, so well, that's going to be fun to deal with. We'll have to deal with that here today. England, Aragon, and the Crusade states. Oh my god. Staffen will sack and take now. There mustn't be too much more territory, German territory left. Denmark's in, so we've, oh, we've lost that alliance. Typical. We'll be able to take the city of Cologne here now. Only five units inside with a clear cut auto resolve. France want trade rights, but not an alliance. Suitable husband, Rikmir. Uh, sure, why not? 
The Crusade of Frankfurt cancelled? Oh, because the Pope died! <laughs> um, election-wise, yeah, let's just go with Scotland. So it, like, stumps England. The Crusade states attacked me, so bugger them. And Sicily, they're too close to me. Oh, so it got cancelled. That was lucky, because <laughs> the Crusader armies were definitely descending upon me. We would have had to play that one. Genoa, Aragon... And England push up with crusading armies as well. That would have been fun. Well, that got cancelled, so we have to do don't have to deal with that. Okay, this should be the last of the HRE. They're only holding out in Hamburg now. Let's build the siege equipment where we can. Uh, we actually got attacked there in Bologna. We'll deal with that though. And in Innsbruck. Right, this should be it. Once we take Hamburg. Yep, that's it. She's all over Red Rover. We've been excommunicated again. The HRE gen uh, Empire is, Emperor is dead. Cardinal's gone and the faction has been destroyed. That was really fun. 1130 AD, 30 turns in. So, unfortunately on that note, guys, I'm going to have to wrap up the video here. Thank you very much for watching. We've managed to hit our objective of making Poland strong again, taking those early rebel territories. And we managed to defeat the Holy Roman Empire. Um, he's 86 now, our faction leader, the Conqueror. Um, a fitting name, Duke Bolslaw. Uh, has a strong family tree. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go toggle foe. And I'm curious to see... Oh, that's not it. It's, it's underscore or dash, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Um, I couldn't remember what it was. Right, I want to see how the other European kingdoms ended up. But that was a really tough war. That was a really long fight. So, Norway's pushed into Danish territory. Scotland has <laughs> Belgium. Uh, Bruges and Antwerp, okay. Oh, England managed to take Ireland. That's cool. Uh, not too much has changed. Maybe the Moors did quite well there. We're still at war with a lot of people, which we don't have to deal with, thank God. And, ah, the Crusade States lost Jerusalem. Alrighty, I'm going to wrap things up here. Want to do more on Staying the Steel? Let me know what other factions you'd like me to do a video on. Let me know the challenge and objective as well in the comments. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members members are available. Use creator code SimpsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Mwah.